low-key forgot that he was wearing that. Oh, hold on. I didn't rewind the tape last time I was doing this. I didn't rewind. I didn't rewind the tape last time I was streaming. Okay, does that fix it? There we go. Now people can see stuff. Sorry about that. I forgot I was doing a stare. <laughs> or no, I wasn't doing a stare. I was doing Pokemon last time. Oops, doodle. Cold and uh, I feel sick. That's unfortunate. No, well, it's okay. It's not me that's sick. A family member apparently has tested positive, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. Gross. I was so, so upset about Thursday. Yeah, that sucks. What, what do you. Oh, right, right, right. You mentioned earlier, you yeah. know. Oh, uh, okay. Rip. So basically... So you're not technically then off on that day? Or is it just like your family's going to be around, basically? My, my family's going to be around. But like I'm still available on Brooks. Fair enough. Instead yes. of, you know, them getting drunk and stuff. Having fun. Let me hang around you. <laughs> well, my, my mom and dad are like, you love to enjoy time with us. And I'm like, I'm so mean to them sometimes. You like spending time with us. <laughs> no, no. no, I mean, just, I mean, yes, sometime, not all the time. Yes, yes. <clears throat> I mean, I realize that sounds rude, but quite honestly, as much as I love my family, I need a break every now and again. Alright, kitties, you ready? No. No? We need, do we need another, do we need another minute? Do we need to throw the screen on? I mean... I think I'm good. Her lock has a lovely two full dialogue options left unspoken. Are we sure we're ready for it? <laughs> we're never ready for it, Kyle. <laughs> that's the, that's just the fact of the matter. We're never he we're never ready for what her lock has to say. It's a fact of life. What I realized is, sorry, unrelated, but in Genshin, I was also on the fifty fifty for the weapon as well. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Stop. I'm <laughs> talking. Sorry, I'm just in like a realization mode. <laughs> Stop, please. It's already dead. <laughs> ladies, and ladies and gentlemen, there are two kid. There are two little kids that are very mad right now. <laughs> Sorry. I uh, rephrase. Uh, jealous. Very jealous. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> I haven't rewound the tape last time when we were here. I forgot what we were doing. That's what happens every time I play this game. I forgot what what happened the last time. Uh, oh, okay. So we did that T test thing. <clears throat> No, this isn't the trial. This is the, this is the midday. Yeah. <clears throat> so. Yeah, cause apparently we need to do more research. I thought we'd be done by the end of the trial, but apparently not. So. So. Yeah. So, uh, your uh, quote quote T test. Is that an example of forensic science? Indeed it is. I'm sensing two new cases that hinge on the knowledge of whether some tea is of high or inferior quality. Not a nude huge number of cases, then. 
Perhaps a more practical example is required. Fingerprints? Not yet accepted in your courts as evidence, I might add. Really, we are dragging our heels there. I hadn't even heard of them until recently. Which is partly why I undertake research in this field myself, of course. You're saying there's fingerprints in your mystery case? There are others in that field already. I have bold the company of inferior minds. No, what I'm searching is skin prints. Skin prints? And a regular chair of my own design, as is this chemical agent that makes it possible. It instantly reveals objects touched by whichever person is under investigation. Brilliant, Mr. Shams. As long as it doesn't turn everything completely odorous and black. I assure you, my dear fellows, you will witness my forensic talents in action very soon indeed. Lord Bark Van Zeeks. Yes, it's an interesting sobriquet. So what? Sobriquet. I guess. I think that's the word. What the fuck is that word? <laughs> Uh, good question. Let's go. Let's go ask our handy dandy cell phone. Madly goes on the phone to check what the hell that word is. Uh, person's nickname. Okay. Yes, sure. it's an. No, it does make sense though what he's about to say. An interesting sober kid has he has, isn't it? The Reaper of the Bailey. An interesting I mean, nickname. Does, still. Yeah, I guess. Anywho, it's an interesting thing he has, isn't it? The Reaper of the Bailey. Oh no wonder it's French. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> that makes a lot more sense. That makes a lot more yeah, sense now. It's yeah, French. That sounds about right. Once the legendary prosecutor has fought for someone's conviction, that person is doomed. Even if he or she is found not guilty by the courts, sooner or later the hapless soul will vanish from the capital. But vanish how exactly? By falling under a passing carriage, or drowning in the Thames, or succumbing to a sudden fever, or, quite out of the blue, being set upon by a highwayman. There are numerous routes to one's final terminus, my dear fellow. Oh, it all seems a little far-fetched, really. Well, on the bright side, the moustache is fighting fit. For the time being, at least. That's not overly reassuring. The rumors are true, though. The obvious conclusion. Would surely be those acquitted are well... By Lord Van Zeke's own hand. As it happens, Mr. Sato, that is quite impossible. Uh, why? Naturally, the band very quickly came under such suspicion. However, whenever these incidents occurred, the Reaper always had a cast iron alibi. L really? And so his reign continued, but five years ago. Uh, uh, Herlock, what are you grabbing? Are you just grabbing your pe like a piece of your hair? Is he okay? Uh, oh. sir, you do you do not have a hat. I don't understand what you're grabbing right now. Shush, Miss Balahodi, I am perfectly fine. He vanished from the courts, never to appear as a prosecutor again. That is, until you arrived in the country, Mr. Narihodo. Yes, so I've heard. In fact, it was the very day I arrived when he was thrust into the tri that trial at the Old Bailey. That, that bitter fight to the death con coincided with the Reaper's resurrection. And really did end bitterly indeed. And here you are, facing Mr. Reaper again. Oh, it's the bean! Hey. Oh, 
Karuno, I don't know if you're just terribly unlucky or incredibly unlikable. I I think it goes deeper than just me. I sense a general loathing of all Japanese people. <laughs> With Mr. Nuts Mr. Nutsmeg, who I'm currently defending, being Japanese as well as Ms. Suzato and myself, I felt it even more keenly in court today. For some reason, Lord Van Zeek seemed to have an inherent disdain of the Japanese. Indeed. It is an interesting observation. Hey, Dado. Do you miss your shots? It was about ten years ago that Baroque Van Zeeks chose to enter the legal profession. However, before that time... Again, you're grabbing your hair, Mr. Sloms. Quiet. It helps me think. Yeah, the young man's... A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Hailed from the Empire of Japan. No. Huh? Tell us more, Mr. Sloms. What happened? I believe I've made it clear before. I'm unable to tell you anything about the affair. Yeah, just like the what you're doing with your hand. That's a hair, not a fair, Miss Nora Hungary. Okay, but... The veil will soon will be lifted on the events of the past in due course, I have no doubt. For now, however. It's Mr. Mustache who is most deserving of your attention, I believe. I want to take a guess at who that Japanese person is. I want to take a gander. I want to provide a possible, uh, I want to present a possible conclusion to who that Japanese person is. Okay. It's, it is either... It's I'm leaning towards Mr. Uh, Professor Mikotoba has some relation to that because after all, uh, he has much interest in said case, and possibly the judge in Japan may be in on it because he seems pretty close with M Professor Mikotoba, which was not seen in the first game. Yeah, not being now that so that that's my possible theories currently running around about this is because. Professor Mikotoba never. Those people in Japan did not make much of a, were not much of a, uh, on the spotlight until this. Until we entered the second game, there's a lot more attention swaying upon them, especially from at the end of the first case. Moving forward, I'm like, okay, okay, okay. There's something going on here. And I don't know what it is, but I have a feeling you're gonna come I mean, back. I mean, obviously it's just a distraction because the real friend was Prosecutor Auchi. Bravo! Bravo! Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> beautiful work. Anyway, but yeah, those those are my th those are my thoughts about what's possibly might be going on. Can I confirm or deny them? Not at the very moment, because after all, the fact that we're reviewing this case right now, quote unquote, means hey, that that's just a theory, a game theory. Oh, I was gonna say it's a gay theory. I was I was gonna say it's a gay theory, but sure, let's go with that. It's both. It's a game gay theory. It's a gay game theory. I mean, <laughs> you, you know, you know what Van Zeeks and his friend got up to. I want to stop this line of dialogue for now. I wish you stop. I wish to stop this this line of dialogue. <clears throat> do not ask Coward. questions you do not wish to know the answer to. <laughs> well, I suddenly got I suddenly got shivers down my spine, as if many, if many dicks were pointed at me today. <laughs> what? 
excuse moi Okay. Alright, Andrew, keep your secrets, I guess. Oh my god. Well, I, I actually, honestly, I don't even think it was worth it. Hey. <clears throat> well, I think we should go back to the scene and see if we can uncover any clues. Spirit, Runo. I was I was watching the clock there. How long is it gonna take? Please See you later. Andrew, bring out the demon. Sorry, I was demon. watching yes, uh, my character fall off the map. It was oh, great. lovely. Uh, Wait, uh, so <laughs> I brought Kwame Sato Ayato to the Ayato estate, and I'm just standing here. <laughs> Restoratively, just like, hmm, yes. No, no, Mr. Schloss, we were thinking you'd come with us. What? Uh, yeah, of course! You just said uh, so a moment ago. You said we'd witness your forensic talents in action. Ah, yes. I do recall saying something along those lines. But I you go on ahead. Done. I shall be sure to follow you later. In all my Probably. Maybe. Well, I might. <sighs> Your commitment astounds me. Oh, thank you, Mr. Shelm. We eagerly await your arrival. Bye bye, Runo. Bye, Susie. Bye, Iris. Right, where do we go next? Let's go to Briar Road. Nope, nothing important there. Uh, let's go. Let's go back to the hospital. I haven't been back to the hospital in a while. What was this happening? It sounds like some sort of thing. Yes, I hear angry voices. Oh no, oh no, oh no, not him! <laughs> Anyone but him! No! <coughs> Be not angry, old apple lady! Very does not mistaken! Oh yeah, who is doing green? Hear me! Okay. in my foot. You were looking. You were just looking at my painting. The eye of man hath not heard. The ear of man hath not seen. Twas foul indeed the poison that mustache Dylan gave it me. Forgive me, lady. I wish you died from that poison. God to mercy, Apple Lady! But thou seest, I'll have to go and still. Behold my champion dance! What the fuck? What the fuck? Ch what the fuck? Ominous. <laughs> Shakespeare, <laughs> hop! Shakespeare, hop! Shakespeare, ha! Ah! 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 Lo, tis the lawyer from the land whence riseth the sun. How now, brown cow? Oh, sorry, wrong line of dialogue. Please don't stab me, scary purple man. Um, what are you doing here, Mr. Shakespeare? Hey, I do believe I'm. I returned it to another ward. Terrible work. Listen, fellow, so dark you turn. Faith, thy work and caught this money it was wonderful. I do promise thee. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. I guess. But! 
That doesn't mean things will go so wonderfully for you tomorrow, does it? I'll just fix this. It's it's straight. It's straight. Yes, yes. It does look straight. Oh no! Excuse! Excuse! Ah! I'm jumping away! Mr. Shamster might technically be the victim in this case, and may have just scarred me for life, but there's definitely a lot more to it than that. Well, it's very hard to pin the man down, honestly. So sorry. I'm such an awful person. Ah, Miss Green, is everything alright? Oh yes, I mean, don't worry about me. They're about to discharge me, so I must get ready to leave now. Oh, I see. I'm delighted, but you'll soon be well enough to perform this way. Dear, you're too kind. I, I don't deserve it. I mean, sure, if you don't deserve it, then we'll just go away now. Bye! <laughs> so, uh, are you feeling more like yourself today, Miss Green? Oh, thank you. I mean, people do recover from ordeals like this, don't they? Even people like me? Well, yes, it was really... Well, it really was an ordeal, wasn't it? As far as I was concerned, I was just walking up in the snow one evening, minding my own business. And then completely out of the blue, I was struck in the back by the knife, and I collapsed unconscious for days. Of course, when I finally woke up again yesterday, the whole business had been cleared up already. <gasps> I know! Oh my god! I see why! Oh my god. Oh my god. Andrew just had an epiphany. I had- I have an epiphany! Anyway. Epiphany? I have an epiphany! Andrew just had an I had I had a big brain moment. Did you? I don't know. <laughs> Congratulations. I will not share my big brain moment, but I I do want to see how this plays out. What a terrible week it's been for you. Oh no, I'm sure I'm very lucky and really. I'll look back on this fondly. Are you okay? Really? <laughs> Anyway, I must be getting my things together now, so I'm ready to be discharged. Oh, yes, of course. Uh, sorry to take up your time when you're obviously busy. She's just sitting on the bed. This rounded wooded figure is th isn't the most charming, is it? Really? It's not exactly what you'd call a typical figure for that purpose, though, is it? No, I suppose not. I've never seen any kind so full of vigor before. That's fat shaming! Well, if you want to draw a full figured person, it's the right tool for the job. Damn it, Renosuke! Stop fat shaming! Oh, I want to see the I want to see the painting on the ground. Nothing of particular of note except for that painting that's on the ground. Okay. All right, let's go see Mr. Nutsmeg. No, nope, Mr. Nutsmeg is not then. Any pals? Oh well, I suppose we'll just have to come back again later. So, how did we get in his house in the first place? What are you guys doing? 
I like how he's just staring like I don't get paid he's enough just, for it. He's like, I'm, I'm just gonna uh, pretend like I don't see the weird detective in a purple dress. He's just like, I don't, I don't get paid enough for this shit. No, literally. Mr. Sloams, what are you up to over there? What a question indeed. It's not your good self for asking me to attend the scene. Hi, what are you doing here, Sholmes? How did you not notice this man in, perp in pink gear standing over there? What are you up to over there? What are you doing here? Dear me, once a great detective, one is always under scrutiny, it seems. <clears throat> now the time, Mr. Sean. Are you about to show us your forensic talents and act in as you promised? With the greatest of pleasure, my dear madame. Oh, that's so cool! Okay, you know what? I'm gonna save. Wait, no, I th we've already seen them before without it. Oh my god! I love it. <clears throat> um, what's all this? All this is precisely what you requested, Miss Malherdo. Horlock Sholm's sensational skin print seeker gun. Oh, I thought I. Oh, okay. I thought I just hired some mysterious white man in a uh, mythical Japanese outfit. I for sure thought he was just gonna say skin seeker gun, and I'm like, oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Moments ago, I took a sample from the teacup that was used by the victim. A sample for Mr. Shamspear's cup? Each individual leaves microscopic secretions on everything he or she touches. A sample of those secretions is all I need to produce this, a refined indicator solution. By deliberately spraying the wound with this chemical, everything the victim touched is instantly revealed with the aid of these goggles. Room, he should have touched everything. Right. Here, try them on. There. Now, spray the chemical indicator about and about and all will be revealed. Spray? Uh, how how do I do that exactly? Well, then to press the A button of the area you're interested in is all that's required. Like this. Uh, well, well, what's that stuff? It's like fog. Also, what's an A button? It's the A button, obviously. Everyone knows what the A button is, surely. Oh, uh, okay. Thanks, you also, know what the A button is, don't you? Of course I do, Sunshine! Uh, also, okay, uh, what, what's that? The suspension of the chemical indicator in a pressurized gas. It's the most efficient way to cover a large area. That was another invention I discovered instantly whilst I was developing this idea. As you do. Go ahead, try it, my dear fellow. We may learn something interesting about the victim's movements on the night in question. Well, there's nothing to lose, I suppose. Oh, okay, so we just basically invented luminol spray. Or, sorry, not luminol. An effect of it. Not actual luminol, but that's the same concept. Yeah. Look, there are dozens of handprints here. Concern. That is incriminating as shit. That looks sus as hell. <laughs> Ace Attorney. Ace Attorney. Um. <laughs> um. Okay. Okay. You know what? You know what? They can have it's it. sus. It's <laughs> sus. I mean, how far down this rabbit hole do you really want to go?
It's it's up to you. It's up to you to decide. <laughs> we'll spare you today. <laughs> well, I'll play nice. You'll be spared today. I'm very scared to think what we we were about to say. <laughs> it sh shouldn't be that hard to figure this out, dude. <laughs> I mean, I'm not surprised either, but still. Anyways. So there are. A great many indeed. So much so that it's hard to make out any one individual print in fact. <laughs> Why'd you say it like that? <laughs> I don't do. <laughs> this is a chill for me too, but not down my spine. No. <laughs> Why? Why do you do the? Why do you do this to me? Perhaps he was uh, leaning against the wall while he admired this picture. He knows. He knows too much. <clears throat> <laughs> I've seen enough shit to know where this is going. <laughs> oh god. <sighs> Unlikely, I would say. It's a rather dumb scene after all. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is not the don't! The curse us all! <laughs> oh, very true, Miss Zotto. It's a bit of a mystery then. Oh, God. We just, we just took an otherwise innocent conversation, made the most cursed thing ever. Made it more sexual than it has been. <laughs> that came out much more. Oh, look at all this here. <laughs> did I say Peyton? Uh, I need to be cursed the room. This is, I what did I just come back to? I just came <laughs> I just I just went and got a drink. And this and, is what you come back to man, more hands! This man's fucked on his painting, his floor. <laughs> I'm surprised we haven't made a chemical for you know what. I bet the room is covered in it. I mean, we don't need a chemical. We just need a black light. <laughs> I mean, they did say they were wrestling last night. Yeah, that, uh, that discussion got intense. It got Cam? heated. Cam. <laughs> <laughs> He explored just... every detail. <laughs> Alright, Nosuke is just standing there like... We can't leave any avenue unexplored after all. <laughs> Goes up to Shlom's. Uh, I hope- I really hope you don't have this, but do you have a cam- do you have a spray for... Please, Mr. Sholmes, don't answer that question. Well, I, I don't think I have to. God damn it! <laughs> you, do. you should know 
find out. Six Ghost is not beyond our caliber. I know, it's not. <laughs> it's been perfectly blunt. This room is making it very easy. Yeah. Uh, okay. It's strictly basically writing the sex jokes themselves. I, I, I really hope he has a yellow canister of spray and that if we spray it all over the room, it's just, it just lights up everywhere. I'm hey, Eddie Rose. Hey, <sighs> ah, yes. Interesting. I'm not to the victim's heart, Prince. <laughs> Susano, why?! <laughs> Ooh, perhaps, <laughs> perhaps he just had a bad fall. <laughs> That's certainly one thing, mm. Naruto. Do. There's nothing <laughs> wrong. <laughs> oh no! no! Just going, hmm, I wonder, and looking Rhinosuke dead in the eyes, <laughs> and just going, hmm, thank you, no. boy scout, let's go. I, 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 I imagine Suzato's just completely oblivious of what the fuck just happened, and like Rhinosuke and Shoals are just standing there, like, oh god, what did we walk into? <laughs> Look, you have a head, Mr. Narahodo. Maybe you should use it. I, 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 I wish not to. I would. I wish to plead the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I'd be stricken from the record. <laughs> oh. <no! laughs> You shut your face. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no, this is not the way that you say that. I think that something, <laughs> no. something only a great detective would do. Oh no! <laughs> Stares at Gregson. Gregson, do you Detective Gregson, do you have anything to say about that? Good, that's what I thought. <laughs> no comment. Oh no. Well, isn't this quite a puzzle? This is not a puzzle, Mr. Slums. You and I both know what the fuck just happened here! Explanation. Please. Take take off these glasses. Oh thank God. No! I read that the wrong way! I read that the wrong way! Oh my god, I thought he was just hand free. Oh, magic. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! No, but like, all jokes aside, um, good thing, like, imagine if it weren't just handprints in, like, oh, any room. Oh no! <laughs> like, Incriminating details aside, like that would that would reveal too much. I mean, that would be incriminating but for a very different reason. Yeah. That's a very that's a very different cry. That's a very different uh, 
topic in itself that needs to be discussed. Mm. Anyway. <clears throat> well, we sprayed Mr. Stone's amazing skin tint indicator all over this This is too. not getting better. <laughs> you, you know what the it stupid part it. is? You know what the stupid part is? I, I was quickly reading through that and I read it the wrong way and I was like, we sprayed Mr. Stolz <laughs> all over this room. I'm like, oh no! <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, but you, you sprayed a you-know-what all over the floor. I read skin print as something else. Uh uh, That's hilarious. Oh what a God. cursed dream this is. Uh, <laughs> we have done all the things to this scene. <laughs> this is supposed to be like, oh, look at that. Handprints, handprints. No, <laughs> that went more into detail. Yeah. You know, I wish I went the other way around first so it actually would have been the last. <clears throat> I think I think picture floor paints a very vivid like. Oh no! <laughs> so I, I think we did it in, in the correct order, personally. I guess did, yes. But there are two places in particular that are of interest. I would say. <laughs> they certainly are, Suzano. The handprints on the floor there, and on the wall. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> yes. And I think the floor warrants closer investigation. I will be there. Susato! Your hands! <clears throat> Can't be soon, Dottie. No! What are you doing? What are you doing, Susato? Why are you on the floor like that? Uh. I mean, she's wearing gloves. Uh, what is it, Mrs. Otto? Look over here, Mr. Naruto. One of the floorboards has popped out. Oh, we found his Viagra stash. I think we found his Viagra stash, kids. I mean, I mean, I was, I mean, I was gonna say it was just that hard, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was gonna say that Booker is keeping his um unmentionables, you know. <gasps> oh no! Uh, oh no! I mean, so his, his, but... his, his uh stage props, if you will. Yes, it, of course, of course. I mean, if the bar, if the bars of, if we can, if we can make coins out of bars of soap and ice, there's no t and ice. There's no telling what he could have been making. I don't know why I said that. Holy shit. I don't think there's anything in this room you would want to make a dildo out of, but alright, Andrew. I don't know what you're using. One of the... Oh no, you mean... <laughs> it's... It's Viagra! It's a double stash! Oh, oh, it's a secret hiding place. Oh, sorry. Good shit, good shit. Andrew, Excellent. keep your secret. <laughs> Excellent work, Mr. Sato. So, what do we have in here? Oi! What are you lot doing? Inspector Gregson, did you not see the hands all over the walls? He didn't have the goggles on. Stand aside right this minute. It's my job to investigate here. Uh, Knowing what I just saw, I think it might be best if you don't. I mean, how do you know that's not exactly what I'm doing this? His mouth is a cavern. Right. It is the ultimate, it is the ultimate fact. Vacuum, you say? Vacuum, Andrew? Mm-hmm. 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 Continue to dig into your portion of chips. I'll speak to you around on the floor here. Your fancy talks putting me off my food anyway, Sholmes. A new bit of advice is exactly what I need. What? Did I read that right? I think it was evidence, but... 
A new bit of evidence is all I need. <clears throat> <clears throat> Wow, a secret hiding place under the floor. What a find. Wow, wee. It's not a hiding place you would make use of in Japan. I don't think I could lift a straw tatami mat. Yes, tatami is very tatami mats are very heavy. I can concur. Oh, I know. But I never expected one of these wooden boards to move either. It got me wondering about the wall over there too. Are you? Aren't you curious? Oh. Oh. Ah, good. We have a wall. Okay, hold on. But does anybody else notice the, like, knee-height hole in the wall by the picture? Yeah. Oh, uh, what do you think it- what do you think it is? I don't know. It could be important. I just wanted to point it out! Tammy, that's where, um... Oh, that's the oh, that's it. the, it. it's the glory hole. That's that's the special hole. <laughs> that's the special no, hole. No, it's a surprise tool that will help us later. Incorrect. Please never say that in reference to that context again. <laughs> I'm sorry. He had to make that joke. <clears throat> Shame. Uh, this is very Christian tonight. I'm sorry, the setup was too good. <laughs> Mr. Slums, you're very disappointed. Mm, how disappointing. But then, how do you explain the handprints? I don't think there's... Oh, you know. Why anyone would be touching the wall over and over in one place like that? Oh, I can think of several reasons, Mr. Zotto. Oh, I'm, I'm, we, I'm sure we all can. There you are. A proof for you. Oh, thank you very much. This invention can make prints too? Now then. <clears throat> I wonder if Inspector Gregson has found anything under the floorboard there. Desperate to know. About what? What's in what the contents of the of the hole or the other hole? All the holes. All yes. the holes. Every last one of them. Seems hard to know. Yes. Seems hard to know. No! Innocent Damn. Bean! No! You know how you need to read this. So am I. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> oh my god. No! <clears throat> Sorry. I've, I've, <laughs> lo I. Set up for me. And yeah. I, I, you I have to take the opportunity. opportunity. Yeah. The opportunity presented itself. You have to take the opportunity. <clears throat> I'd love to know if there's anything hidden underneath of that floorboard there. Allow me to ask Gregson now. After all, very well acquainted. It's <laughs> 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 for Gregson, really. It's been too long. What is it, Shones? I thought perhaps you might show me what you found there, seeing as we're such good friends. We're not friends. Ah! I get it. The pause. The pause is telling Grayson. <laughs> <laughs> no, I suppose not. 
<laughs> oh, there's something going on here. Your honor, they're gay. A dismal failure. <laughs> yes! I heard. Just ask him yourself right now, say. Ugh, I killed to know if it was under that floorboard. Alright then, fair is fair. Nani? You did discover the hiding place after all? I suppose I should at least fill you in. <laughs> that was aggressive. <laughs> really, Inspector Bay? <laughs> Oh, no, 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 you're gonna ruin the entire interaction. Your boyfriend does not want to deal with you during work hours. Oh, no, 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 so, uh, shut up. Oi! Stop making me out to be some kind of nut! Same. <laughs> there were three arms on the floorboard there. <sighs> a newspaper clipping, a photographic print, and a tin bar. Oh no. Oh no. Now, what else do you want to know? Uh, was there a dildo in there? I had to refrain from listing off... things. <laughs> I mean, the box had to hold something. Was there some, um, a dildo? Um, maybe, like, a pee-pee? Uh... Oh! Oh! Hey! 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 Language! I oh, actually no way. Was there some, uh, compromising adult materials in the hole? I mean, there's a newspaper the clipping. Print and tin box contain. Looks <clears> like this was cut out of the paper about three months ago. It's about a convict who got sick and died while he was serving up time in Manchester. Oh, how terrible! It made the headlines down here in London as well. The bloke had been sentenced to death, you see, but nature got him first. <clears throat> Oh my goodness, he committed a capital offense? A man by the name of Selden. Nasty piece of work. Into burglaries and murder. They say the hoard he knocked off was worth about a thousand pounds. A hoard? Of treasure, you mean? Jewelry and the <clears throat> like. But he hid it somewhere, and no one knows where. And now he's dead. The papers loved him, of course. A thousand pounds lost on route to hell, as some such was the headline. <clears throat> It does not strike you, though. Why such an article would be so carefully ensconced under the floor? It does seem a bit odd. Perhaps I'll go over the paperwork we've got on sale in back of the yard and see if I can pin anything up. Manchester's strange ways prison announced the death of the convicted murderer and burglar Selden by natural causes in the early hours of this morning. <clears throat> he had been suffering with a fever since the end of October. Alerted by the shouts of his fellow cellmate, medical staff to arrive to find him already did before his capital punishment could be carried out. Oh. Gotta stop looking at that fingerprint. Worse. So, this is the print I found. <clears throat> Can't talk. So, this is the photograph I found. Looks reasonably recent to me. Oh. Oh. Interesting. Oh, it's Mr. Garrity. <laughs> oh, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Garrity, you naughty, naughty man. Ooh. 
No, I'm kidding. It kind of made possible my peace, son. Could you imagine if Garrity, like, Shamsir was Garrity's kid? That poor man. Oh, God. That would be terrible. That would be I feel traumatizing. God. <clears throat> I feel sorry for Gar Mr. Garrity. <laughs> Honestly, I just, yeah. I just, I just feel worse with Soseki because he'd be living between them. Yeah. I mean, I already feel sorry about for him already because he has to deal I with- I mean, yeah, but like, even more so. It's even worse. Anywho. Yes, it would appear to have been taken on the street in front of the house here. <clears throat> Gentlemen on the left is Mr. Gertie, the landlord, of course. But who's the man on the right? Mr. Garadib's son, perhaps? Bruh, you can take that print if you like. Really? Are you sure? We can presume, therefore, that the yard already knows. <clears throat> the identity of the young fellow, that is. Ah, is, is that true? Too bad if we do. Unfortunately for you lot, sneaking inf leaking information isn't one of my pastimes. My dear inspector, if I may be, be so bold as to point something out. Pastimes are for one's leisure, but this is for work. Um, for reason I'm not telling you. That is no failure. Oh, yes, man. I heard. Everyone's aware that it was a failure from. I wonder why a photograph like this was hidden under the floor. I mean, Mr. Shamsuir himself isn't in it. Mm, photographic prints are still rare treasures in the East End. I imagine Mr. Gallagher was rather delighted to have been immortalized. He probably made a proud present of it. Alright, let's find out what's in the tin box. Tin box looks interesting, doesn't it? Might I suggest, Inspector, that you open it? Mm -hmm. Mimi. If you were to find something inside that reveals <laughs> the truth behind this case. Mimi, Mimi, Mimi. Okay, <laughs> Shom, we got it. Thank you. Oh yeah. That's awesome yeah. over here. Oh yeah. Chewy. Such troll people. <laughs> I'm sorry. I wouldn't be the least surprised. <laughs> when I hear that, I always think of <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Hiya! Chewy. Chewy. Yeah, funnily enough, I've already had a look. Oh? What's in it then, Gregson? I mean, did you say the line? I didn't... Oh, Sorry, I didn't... yeah, I can say it again. Fine. I did hear it as well. It's completely empty. Damn, he took all of his drugs with him. <laughs> what? Shamspear, give us a clue, man. <laughs> Where are your drugs? Where are your drugs, Shamspear? Calm down, Mr. Mr. Oh. Where's the paw? I mean, the drugs. Yes, the air is empty. Rather like how I feel inside. Is there nothing more to this box then? Hmm, I 
wait, wait, wait. Andrew, you completely <laughs> bypassed <laughs> our best fucking line. That was great. That was amazing. I about that. Yes, oh. thin air. It's empty. Rather like how I feel inside. You just breathed past that shit. Oh, sorry. Unbelievable. Let me... Fine, let me repeat that. <clears throat> yes, thin air. It's empty. I really like how I feel inside. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Meow. <laughs> oh, a kitty. That's Waka Hai. I'm just gonna every time he says meow, I'm just gonna do a monotone meow. It's Mr. Nutsmegs, isn't it? I don't think we've ever asked him actually. Why don't we call it um Wagahai? You know, like Mr. Nuts Mr. Nutsmeg refers to him in Japanese. I wonder how he got in here. Clever cat. Meow. Oh, 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 oh. Child. Oh, he's sleeping the floor. Precious queen. <laughs> precious queen. <laughs> precious be queen. happier now. Look. I just hope we can bring him some happiness to his owner too. <gasps> oh! Oh, Meow. Meow. <clears throat> meow. Meow. That was a cheeky little meow, Wagahai. You cheeky little Bobby. Oh, but he's so adorable. I could sit and watch him forever. Me too, Susan. I think he may not appreciate that after a while. And we are, we have an investigation to get back to. Investigate the cat. Meow. Oh, scratchy me. The little dog. Meow. Alright, well we're gonna observe this cat. I wonder if you get some random hidden achievement for sitting here long enough. Wouldn't that be something? That'd be so funny to sit there and... Alright, right, everyone, this is the end of the ACP stream. We are now starting the cat watching stream. We're watching Wagahai. Congratulations. Congratulations. You are now joining us in the cat watching stream. Yes. You have, you have now had your daily dose of serotonin. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. For the next 45 minutes, this is all we're doing. <laughs> At least the music is bumping. I feel like Rini always has such good soundtracks. It does. I feel Chinese soundtracks are bumping. By the way, I'm actually quite serious. We're gonna spend the next 45 minutes staring at the cat. <laughs> We're just gonna sit here looking at the cat. I guess we better come up with some talk topics to talk about. I mean, I'm kind of playing Genshin. <laughs> Same. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna quickly, I'm gonna quickly save this in another slot. This is the cat slot. <laughs> if you override the cat slot, I will kill you. If you override the way the high slot. <laughs> Observe the cat. 
Love cat. Oh, I should find a gif of Wagahai and make him my. I should make him my um. Over every material possession to it. <laughs> Give Wagahai if, everything. If I if I ever find, I need to find a gif of Wagahai. He should just become my um. He he is now my uh. My pre-stream clip. Beginning. Just like a high, just staring. <laughs> oh, also, y'all, I realized something as I'm sitting here playing Genshin Impact. Hmm. Yeah. Ayato's boba slurping sounds is like Zhang Li's Osmanthus wine. Oh, no. Oh, no. God, that man never should why does this man drink so much boba? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> no, legit. <laughs> legit. I, feel like, no, I feel like it's she drinks it solely because he can. Legit. Just, one of the, just one of those small things like who's going to tell him he can't. Man, just like casually like fighting with like a Tui, pulls boba tea out of his sleeve and sips it while he's sword fighting, just... <laughs> like a classy man. Oh, oh my god. I, I just oh imagine him doing like a after, drunken after... fist fighting style, but instead of beer, it's boba. After mm -hmm. the stream, I have to play you some of Ayato's voice lines, because me and Kyle were sitting there like, Ayato, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? He has yes. a one. He has some good ones. He does, but like, the fuck? Like, I tell you good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, I think we Are stared at the cat. <laughs> Alright, we, we, we stared at the- I was gonna make a Wega high meme. And then I got distracted. Alright, well, let's move on. He's not back. Darn, I was gonna ask him a question. Is he back? Nope, he's not back. Where is everyone? Actually, come uh, so to think be, of it. I'll be right back. I'm just gonna go get my water. Bro, why are you all the way out here? Dude, what the hell is wrong with you? What do you mean? Oh, I'm trying to find this dude in Genshin, and he's just like in the middle of the ocean. That's an exaggeration. Hi, that's okay. That's that's cool. That's a cool, cool reference. All right. Well, where are we going? Hell. Here, I'm working on a meme template. Just give me two seconds. <laughs> I'll send it when I'm done. Uh, let's go see. I don't think he's there he's though. So probably... Ooh, we can actually examine his room while well, he's not here. Oh, there's all those broken things. Hmm. I don't think there's anything interesting. Briar Road? Hmm, well with the exception of the top floor where Mr. and Mrs. Garrity live, all the windows are bricked up. Yes, that's because of an old window tack that was charged on on the number Ugh. that was charged on the number of the windows the property had. In order to pay less tax, the poorer members of society filled in many of their windows. But the tax has since been abolished, hasn't it? So all the windows could be opened up again, surely. Unfortunately, it would appear that the residents of this district can't afford to pay can't afford to pay to have the work done. 
Yes, this is a sad state of affairs. Especially for people like poor Mr. Natsume, who have to live, who have to live all cooped up in a windowless room. I suppose that's the price you pay for living in very cheap accommodation. Suppose it's not a pointless way to live, I thought. The Gurdy Palace sold, and Mr. Nut Mr. Nutsmeg's lodgings are a prominent in a prominent position there on the corner. Sometimes when I look at the building, I can't help feeling that's a bit of a slant. Rather like as it would collapse in even the smallest earthquake, doesn't it? And it isn't isn't it supposed to be haunted as well? I think I might have a hunch as to why why Saucy Sun has a, such a hunched back. Here, guys, I sent it to Ace Attorney Meetings. <laughs> nice. Pat the Wagahai, hold the Wagahai, cherish the Wagahai, forfeit all mortal possessions to Wagahai! Yeah, sounds about right. Alright, well. Look, there's a photograph in this frame here. Ah. Uh, I, can, I can feel, I can feel the gears in Andrew's brain turning as he looks at that. All right, let's talk to Miss Green. Miss Green! Oh no. I am. Thank you. Oh, wait, this is Sorry. already said. Yeah. Okay, Never mind. I can't present anything to her! Oh, that's unfortunate. That must be Fagamus Green's personal belongings. Should have been, she would have been brought directly here after she was found stabbed in the pavement, though. I expect a friend or family member probably brought some things for her. Alright then, let's see what's inside. A change of clothes, no doubt, and... No, Mr. Narahoto, you must never scrutinize a young maiden's personal belongings. The young maiden might have chocolates, or biscuits, or caramel. <laughs> what an odd thing to say, Mr. Naruto. Ah, this looks like the patient's treatment notes. Let's see. Do not feed. What is this place, <laughs> For the pigeons, yes. This is a person. Poor woman. I hope she hasn't read this. <laughs> I really hope so too. Ah, this looks like the treatment notes for whoever's occupying this bed. Let's see. Do not permit to run around the hospital. Seems to be here at the moment. Here she is probably running around the hospital then. What's worrying is why we haven't, why they haven't discharged the patient yet. Oh, we already talked about the rack. Anything else? Nope. Okay. Mr. Gregson! No, it looks like I can't present anything to him. Damn it! Alright, where are we going? 
Listen, not too, mate. No, I guess we can't talk to anyone. Let's go home. No. This is all the sun. What do you make of this? If you don't know, really, it's fine to say so. I won't hold it against you. Okay, so you have nothing. You have nothing useful to say. No one's there. Oh, Iris is telling me! Oh my god! Interrupt, Iris. Um, Iris. That's incredible concentration. That is. Perhaps I should try drinking more herbal tea. The blend served on the right would be good for you, Runo. Oh, um, Iris? This girl is destined for great things, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, well, you have nothing important to say. I've already been to these rooms. Okay, where do I go? Huh. Is there anything I missed in this room? Oh, box, food, Gregson, casually says Gregson. Uh... Oh, I must look at some evidence. I'm sorry, I'm looking at the cursed photo again. I can't wait to look back on this stream and relive that moment. <laughs> <laughs> it needs to be clipped. Cause that's There's just... so many clips you can get out of that. <laughs> it's too good. It was too good. But this is what happens after not returning to Ace Attorney for a while, is you just leave. Uh... Alright. You know, I'm stumped. I don't know where to go. Kyle, do you want to help, or...? Did you show the picture to Olive? I, I can't. I can't show anything to her. Can no. You try to actually just talk to her? Yeah. She just gives me this dialogue. Okay. I'm trying to remember. Oh. Alright. So I've got nothing. Ooh, no, I don't think I shall remember it. And I'm trying to look around, look to see if I missed anything. You know, this kind of also makes, this almost kind of makes up for basically staring at Waka Hive for the next, like... Something here... Uh, have you gone back to the attic yet? The attic? You mean here? No, like, uh... Your attorney's office, whatever it's called. Did you talk to Suzato here in the attic? No, I haven't yet. That's probably what you're missing, is talking to Suzato. Yeah, but in the past, the games never really made you, like... Uh, I guess... Well, I guess we're gonna have to talk there. Alright. I mean, honestly, I can't remember what else you used yeah. to so... Yeah, that's, that's the only thing I can think of. Yeah. The thing is, though, just from, like, basic logic from, like, other Ace Attorney games, I never usually talk to the assistant in the office because it's like, well, I just look around for where I need to go next, usually. I mean, if nothing else, it might be a commitment. Mm hmm. Alright, well, it was quite a shock earlier today, wasn't it? When the victim himself turned up in court and took the stand? Not 
Not only that, but then finding out he was actually a bare-faced gas thief as well. Yeah, that certainly a surprise to us all. For a while, it seemed as though everyone had quite forgotten Bozoseki's unpoisoning tea. Careful of your phrasing, Susato-san. He didn't poison anything. And there's more to this Mr. Shamsky than we yet, than yet know, I'm sure of it. Mr. Shamspear certainly wasn't a noble, the noble, upstanding man everyone thought he was. What's become of him, actually? I was told that he'd be returning to the hospital ward where he was receiving treatment. Oh, which one was that? Let me see. Ah, yes. He's at Saint Bartholomew. Saint Bartholomew's, or Bart's as Londoners, as Londoners. We know that place, don't we? I can't speak. I can't English today. So, goodbye. Yes, we visited Miss Greenay yesterday. It's the same hospital at which she was taken. Ah, yes. After Saucy Sun stabbed her in the back. Do be careful of your phrasing, Narahodo san. He didn't stab anyone. Perhaps they both owe Saucy san an apology. St. Bartholomew's. Yeah, she'll probably visit the hospital later. We're there. <clears throat> so, we know that Saucy san took the tea to the victim on the night in question. But, as he isn't the culprit, then obviously. Yes, the poison surely poisoned him like tea. But if that's the case, how on earth did the poison get to, into Mr. Shamsphere's body? I am sure I'll find a clue to see. There must be something in Mr. Shamsphere's room that will help solve the mystery. Well, naturally, Scotland and our detectives have over have been over to the place actually before, but it couldn't hurt for us to have another look around, I think. Well, if we run to Inspector Gregson, we can ask him about that. Oh, oh no. Ah, oh, this man, the best friend I've ever had, and a lawyer with such a promise. He really saved my bacon, that horrific kid, and it just before we left Japan. Oh no, don't remind me. I can still picture him now, looking so fierce and determined in court. And after that trial, that crazy idea he came up with. I don't want. I don't want to read that. Yeah, yeah. I know yes, that line. Yeah. Why would I? Why would go to these things so I can accompany you to group group? Oh, blah 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 blah. We're speeding up everything. We already know. Speed. But Vanessa, I am speed. You're fired! You can't fire me, I quit! You can't quit, you're, you're my wife, and you're- I'm not your wife, you're my wife! Oh, sorry, that's the hot one. Oh, sorry, I was thinking about Cosmos. Pretty good, but I- then I got fired. You can't- you can't get fired. You can't- Oh, sorry. Oh, that was pretty good, but I quit my job today. You can't quit, you're fired! No! Oh, sorry, I was just thinking about him. Yes, it is where the nuggets be. The change the Japanese judicial system for the better. And as you're accustomed to speak, you may have to think before taking to study. Yes, that's right. But. I do wonder if his true intentions lay elsewhere sometimes. I don't know. The thought just takes hold of me every now and then. That's all. Ah, oh, spare dialogue. Yeah, 
I mean, this. I never expected to inherit this sword after Kazuma passed away, of course. When I have it at my side in court, I feel as though it gives me courage. Yes. Actually, the night before he died, he told me a little about the sword. Okay, I don't want to have to read the, go through this. I'm pretty sure we already know what. Yeah, Kairuma. Yeah, yeah, it's a sword. I had hoped that an that the answer would to that question would become apparent when we arrived here, but as yet, I have not found a single clue. Yeah. All right. Well, we had that conversation. Where did that get us? Nowhere. Let's go back to the hospital. Nope. Nothing there. He's still on the floor. Are you fucking kidding me? I had to go back to the office and just chat for a bit, and then he would appear? Uh, <laughs> Ramp. Well, well, you know what? He's gonna have to wait. Because I'm ending the stream, because my voice is starting to get a bit raspy right now. Fair enough. That's fair. That's fair. Mr. Mr. Uh, what's his name? Mr. Uh, Shamsphere's voice may have uh, killed me a bit. Well, that was your choice to go as dramatic as you <laughs> Oh! Oh, why, of course, my dear. Anyway. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Um, we're change I'm changing up the schedule, so we'll only be doing Ace Attorney once a week now. And in its place, uh, either depending on the outcome tomorrow, it'll either be put tomorrow I'll be doing Pokemon or Thursday I'll be doing Pokemon. One of the two. I haven't decided on a date. But that is how it be in the dozen that did. So thank you for watching. Come back either tomorrow or Thursday for Pokemon. If not, next week for Ace Attorney. Something like that. Yay. Hey. I just realized I have to I have to go back through that footage. Oh no. <laughs> Not that. <laughs> Not that. <laughs> oh! The one of the most cursed streams to date. <laughs> oh god. <laughs>